thanks for watching. Today I thought that I would share my current favourite jeans with you all. You guys know I'm like mad into denim, wear denim all the time and they're all high street actually apart from one pair so recently I've been loving a lot of high, well I always love high street denim actually, I genuinely don't think you need to go and invest in it, I think the high street does it really well but I thought I would share my favourites at the moment. Um, they are all like a straight leg style, most of them have a frayed hem because that is what I'm wearing constantly at the moment, it's like the only style that I wear. If in six months time I'm only wearing skinny jeans I will do another one of these videos but for skinny jeans but for now these are just my most worn ones so they're all of a certain style. Um, I'm just going to keep on this t-shirt which is from Urban Outfitters and I've got a Mellow Eve espadrilles. I'm just going to keep this on for the whole video but also insert some photos from like my Instagram and from my blog of me wearing these jeans in different outfits because obviously I have a lot of photos featuring these jeans. Percy the cat is also in the room wandering around so if you see him or hear him just pretend he's not there. He's just is desperate for some attention at the moment and um, so yeah the first pair I've got on right now they're from H&M I also have them in white and these are so good I think they were like £35 maybe and they're amazing amazing quality for that price they're really thick denim I think they look really expensive they've got the button fly which I do really like they fit really well go one size up from normal so I've got these in the UK size 10 and then they've got a super 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 frayed hem like crazy really deconstructed all at the bottom and I absolutely love them they wash great all of these jeans wash great by the way I've had them all for quite a while now and they've all been washed loads so these are absolutely fantastic for the price though definitely my current favourites on the high street I had them in white ages ago and I was so excited when I found them in the blue wash as well so yeah H&M the first pair next up is Urban Outfitters BDG these are my second favourite high street jeans at the moment. I've been wearing these literally every single day. So they're not as thick denim as the H&M. I really like a thick heavy denim, similar to like a vintage Levi 501. This is a thinner denim, but it really makes them flatter. They're super flattering over the bum. Um, I've got them in a waist 26 and they fit really true to size. They've got a nice bit of stretch in them as well. Really nice and high waisted. Frayed hem at the bottom, but not too frayed, much more subtle than the H&M ones if you're not into super, super frayed hems. But the wash of these is what I really like. It's just a really summery, light wash. I've been wearing them when it's really hot, like with cami tops. I've been wearing them with nips when it's been cold again. Just wearing them endlessly. They're absolutely amazing. I think they're called the Axel. Obviously, they'll be linked in the description box, but this is a style that if I saw them actually I haven't looked, I need to check if they have them in different washers then I would buy them again in a different colour in a heartbeat because they're so so easy to wear. Percy stop scratching! He's scratching the carpet, he's so naughty. Um, so yeah, Urban Outfitters BDG, these are insane, super 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 flattering and true to size. These are the ASOS straight leg jeans, another amazing pair of high street denim. The only thing about these is that they sell out so fast, they have done them in different washers, they did them in a light wash and they sell out in a breath, so I didn't manage to get my hands on a pair. But I do regularly check, they're literally called straight leg jeans. Um, there's different, anyway, I'll link them, there's different types, but these are just called the straight leg. They've not got another name or anything like that. I've got them in washed black, waist 26 again. They do come up quite small, like these are pretty tight, a lot tighter than the Urban Outfitters ones, but I think they look really good for it. They're super, super high-waisted, really cinch you in, a cropped leg length. And they're a straight leg, as the name would suggest. Um, but yeah, always on the lookout for these in different washers. These wash really, really well. No changes in these whatsoever. There's no changes in any of them, but these, I've been through the wash so many times because I've had these for quite a few months now and wear them very, very regularly. So I'm really into this washed black as well. I've got two more pairs in a washed black denim. It's good for if you want something a little bit smarter you know, to wear on an the evening. These look great with, um, you know, like leotards and really tight, skinny fitting tops. They look really good with that because they're quite flattering over the waist and things. And also, um, these and the Urban Outfitters ones as well have a zip fly. I guess it's kind of personal preference what you prefer. Sometimes it can be more flattering because it means it sits really flat on your tummy, whereas a button fly can bulge out a little bit over the crotch whereas this a zip's gonna sit flatter and um, I actually really like a button fly but it's just personal preference so this is the ASOS straight I think they're like 
30 pounds maybe, maybe 35, but really, really, really well priced. Another washed black pair, these are from Another Stories. I bought these for testing basics. Um, I got them in a waist 28. I have lost some weight recently, so they do come up a little bit big at the moment. So I'd probably go for a waist 26 if I was gonna buy them again. Um, but they just are a slightly lower rise than the ASOS ones if you don't like a really, really high rise. And they're more, they just go really straight down, if that makes sense. The ASOS ones taper in, this tiny tiniest bit well they look like they do I think mostly because of how tight they are around the waist and things whereas these are just really straight down again they've got the frayed hair they've got more of a grained wash to them than the ASOS ones do like it's got a lot of a light line running through the grain of the jeans um, but they, they they won testing basics I think I think they were the winners when I did that one because they wash really well for the price they're really good. I really like Under the Stories denim. Again, it sells out pretty quick a lot of the time, um, but I do check it regularly. They have some really great um, white jeans in at the moment as well, which I'm really loving. So these, waist 28, yeah, I've said that a bit. I can't remember how much they were. I think maybe about four, between 40 and 50 pounds, I would say. They're a bit more expensive than H&M and ASOS, obviously, but well worth it in my opinion. I really, really like these ones. And I think if you're after for something a little less tight, a little less high-waisted, then these would be a really good pair for that. On to the last two pairs now. These two are a little more pricey than the others. These are by Levi, the Levi Wedgie jeans. And I've had these for over a year now, but I don't know if I've ever really talked about them on my YouTube channel before. I definitely have on my blog. Um, these are so flattering. So the whole point of the Wedgie jeans is that it's really flattering over the bum. So it's meant to make your bum look bigger. It's a really high waist, so again, it kind of elongates your bum, which is often quite flattering. Um, just meant to make your bum look peachy, basically. Um, and I think that they really do. I find them super flattering. They're a slightly skinnier leg than some of the other ones. And by the way, if you are like absolute diehard skinny jeans fan, I was for the longest time, and you feel like you don't branch out into other styles. I know that denim can be once you found your thing, you found your thing, because it's such an everyday piece. But these, this style will completely transform your wardrobe, honestly. I think they look so much more interesting. The way you can tuck things into them looks better than with skinny jeans. They're really flattering. Just give them a go. And if you're feeling a little bit meh about them, then something like this would be great because they're still quite skinny. They just sit off the leg a little bit, mostly down the calf and down the skinny's point of your leg. They're relatively tight over the thighs. So it's not too much of a step out of your comfort zone if you're not feeling 100% sold on this style yet. So finally, the most premium brand I've got here are Girlfriend. Now, as I just said, I've lost weight recently, so these are miles and miles too big. They're a waist 27. I feel like I could go down to a waist 25 in these, honestly, so maybe go down a size for your normal sizing, or true to size, depends on how tight you like jeans to fit. But these are way too big for me at the moment. However, I still want to mention them because it's one of the only premium denim brands that I actually am a big fan of. I've got like four or five different pairs of styles, different pairs of, that was wrong, and I've got four or five different pairs from them basically. This is my favourite style, so again it's a straight leg style but a relatively skinny one, going back to what I was saying with the Levi's, if you're not feeling fully confident these could be a great pair. They're kind of quite similar to the Urban Outfitters ones but they are a much heavier, heavier denim and much, they do feel better quality basically because of the heaviness of the denim. But again, they're a light wash, they've got the frayed hem. Girlfriend jeans often have a lot of stuff going on. So these have got crazy back pockets, which I'm not the biggest fan of, I've said before. Prefer something a little bit more minimal. Um, so if you're ordering some online, then make sure you just have a check around what's going on because they've got like distressing here, rips there everywhere like that. But they're, re they're just really, really good quality denim, basically. They wash really well. I'm going to take you to the tailor and have them adjusted so that they fit me perfectly because even though I've got loads of other pairs of jeans as we've just seen, these ones I really love so for me they're worth having tailored to fit me really well again because of how good they are and I think that's a testament for how good they are as well. So yes, that's the final pair. I hope you found this informative. If you've got any like holy grail styles of jeans, leave them in the comments for other people to be able to see. Uh, sizings and everything I'll also write in the description box just in case you missed any of it. But yes, I hope this has been informative. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.